My name's Ashley Lloyd. I make eco boards in Santa Cruz, California. It's beautiful to come down the coast and be here in Moss Landing. Uh, check out the Sunflower Star Lab. In the lab here, they are growing sunflower stars. My ultimate goal is to see sunflower stars back in the wild. I really miss them. I don't think I really appreciated them when I was a diver because you would see them every single dive. But then once they were gone, then you really noticed the change. For the first year, we just noticed more purple urchins, and then we started losing the kelp forests. Kelp forests are these vibrant communities of macroalgae. They harbor a thousand different species of marine organisms. They help sequester carbon to mitigate the impacts of climate change. Ten years ago now, this massive disease outbreak swept through populations of sea stars in California and it decimated sunflower sea star populations. Urchins changed their behavior and multiplied by the millions. They started mowing down California's kelp forests. We've lost 96% of the kelp forests in Northern California just in the last decade. Because of the role that sunflower stars play as keystone predators in a kelp forest environment, they can be one of the main drivers of kelp forest recovery in California by restoring populations and keeping urchins in check. Here at Sunflower Star Laboratory, we're researching scalable protocols for growing sunflower stars in a laboratory environment to restore balance to California's kelp forest ecosystems. Some of the other species that we raise at the Sunflower Star Lab are purple urchins, bat stars, sand dollars, and these are all species that are great to practice on before we get our hands on the sunflower sea stars. And part of that feeds in perfectly to sunflower sea stars because they are predators and we need to be able to provide the food that they will start to feed on once they become juveniles. We are part of a much larger group of researchers and nonprofits and public aquariums that all bring their unique expertise to allow us to actually answer the question of how are we going to bring back Pycnopodia to the kelp forest in Northern California? It's beautiful to see everything that's happening here and to help restore our oceans and have a beautiful kelp forest for my son to still appreciate.